Hi folks, my name is Paul Clark. I'd like to welcome you to this video viewing of a three bedroom detached 1930s build home that's located in Chichester Road. We're gonna start out the front. All right, starting from a front street scene, we can clearly see the property's detached and we have off-road parking for a couple of vehicles. Coming round to the north, you see Chichester Road. Coming through directly opposite to Orchard Way and turning southwards down towards the Hawthorne Road shops, uh, which will be just on the right there. And there's a couple of small shops on the left and back round to the property. Okay, up the front. Very stylish looking pathway. A nice patio in here and into the main property itself. Now that we're in, into the peace and quiet of a well built 30s build property in the hallway. Let's get some shoes off. There we are. And round into our main reception. The owners here quite house proud people. They made a lot of effort to keep this property looking nice, clean, tidy, spick and span. Smart looking fireplace. And coming back around so that you guys can see the exit back onto the hallway. And just looking this way so that you've got a handle as to how the property presents. And an understair storage cupboard. They're not very exciting places, but we all need places to put ironing boards and vacuum cleaners. Okay, so second reception dining room at the rear of the property. Sliding doors will go out to um, the rear patio. There is down here a working fireplace. The owners have never actually made the effort to use it or light it, but they do assure me that it will work if you want it to do so. And just coming around this way so you get a better handle on the size and scope of the room. And just also for you looking out the rear garden. Okay, so back into the hallway looking towards the kitchen. Now this uh, storage cupboard on the left isn't actually a storage cupboard at all. It is actually a downstairs WC, very conveniently hidden away and fitted with some really clever stuff that's quite small and compact, but does mean you get the additional downstairs ablutions. And this storage cupboard is, well, use it for whatever you like, but you can see in here the owner has managed to squeeze in a tall fridge freezer. And coming into the kitchen itself, the main fridge freezer space is on the right. And then here's the rest of the kitchen for you to look at. So we do have lots of spaces for appliances. This quite stylish looking oval um, stainless steel sink and drainer. Up here we have additional storage units above the sink. There's a window over here for light and ventilation. And just coming back round to the rest of the kitchen, you can see we have a tall fridge freezer in the far end, a freestanding um, cooker, lots of additional storage cupboards, and then a breakfast area at this end of the room. It's actually quite nice. Okay, and out looking through to the garden. We'll, we'll go up there in a few moments. Okay, up the stairs. Uh, while we're doing this, you might like to know that the property is constructed in the 1930s, 1934 we think on this particular property. And that means you get the period features. You get the tall ceilings, you get the um, uh, fireplaces and you get the bay windows, which is all quite nice. Right, into the front bedroom. Okay, so uh, bay window takes up most of the width of the room as you can see. Very well looked after by this particular couple. Really good size uh, uh, master bedroom. Okay, and then out into the hallway and round into the second bedroom, which is very nearly the same size. Here we are. And you'll see just in the far left corner over there, there is a wardrobe space. I won't open it, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Um, but interestingly, from this rear garden, uh, rear bedroom, you can see over the garden, but over there, that is the rugby field. They're very nice. And lastly, as we come through 
upstairs into the bathroom. Now this is quite a well looked after, quite stylish room. Interestingly, over the bath here, what we've got is um, some matching uh, slate tiles. They're exactly the same as the ones that are on the, on the floor. And then above the bath, we have a, looks like a power shower unit with a very smart looking shower head. And coming round, you can see additional fantasy storage cupboards, creating spaces for towels. Just all that stuff that's got to go somewhere. It's just a big room actually. You come back and take a proper look at its size, you can see exactly what I mean and where I'm coming from. Now on this property you can get to the garden via the kitchen or the dining room. We're going at the kitchen here. And you can see straight away that we're largely laid out to lawn. There's quite a lot of nice detailing here around the lawn area. It's quite neat in how it's been looked after. Back around to the property itself. So there's a covered area creating a nice dry area for outside. And you get a real sense of this quite smart paving area. And the paving area does go around the side of the property and all the way out to the front uh, onto the same um, paving that you saw as we came up from the garden. Okay, back round, so garden itself. Uh, this fencing all here on the right was replaced earlier this year. All quite nicely looked after and painted up. Very substantial um, shed. Actually, I think it's probably fairer to call that a summer house than it is a shed. And then an additional patio area here, out here in the sun. Pretty smart looking uh, palm tripe tree. And uh, I don't know if the pagoda will stay, but you can see what can be done just to make it a nice, pretty home. And coming back around so you get a better handle as to the dwelling itself. Very sexy, detached 1930s built home. Uh, lastly, I'm just going to pull you back through this area here and through the back gate. What we have is the rugby playing fields. So I think I can tell you this is not going to get built on any time soon. And if you're into sports field, then it's right here through the back of your very own garden gate. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, feel free to get in touch and tell us if you like the property. Perhaps you'll be good enough to share it with other people you think might be interested in the property itself. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you want to see additional ones. And most importantly, get in touch if you'd like to come and view the property for real. This is Paul Clark of Clark's Estate Agents. Bye for now.